Welcome back, everybody. Drive Mod and Joy here with the Bronco and Rob and Anna. We've got uh, the RTR Rock Rails on last time, and now we have the was it '67 design Bronco Rail and all of the various bits and pieces that go with it. With similar names, different functions. This is for mounting things such as cameras and phones and whatnot on the dashboard. Really, really handy off-road. Yeah, he's got one uh, in the Tacoma. It's pretty awesome. Rock solid. Rock solid. So yeah, let's uh, jump right into it. So these are all the pieces that we picked out. Now keep in mind, this kit is very much piecemeal. You, you buy it with the accessories and such that you want to install. So obviously we got the long Bronco rail. I think that that way we can put anything and it leaves room for the future. But here's the major things. One, dash cam. Anna really wanted a dash cam yes. for this. Super important. I drive way too much to take the risk of something happening and not being able to prove that it wasn't me. Exactly. So we have the Garmin 47 dash cams came highly re reviewed. We have the 67 designs uh, universal iPad iPhone mount, which is amazing. Amazing. Like it honestly, happen. it does not move. I have it in, in my Tacoma. Love it to death. We have a mic holder. We will explain this more in the future when we do that install. And then we have all the carbon fiber arms. So we have a short arm for hopefully the dash cam. We have two of the longer arms. I think these are actually medium arms mm -hmm. in carbon fiber also for the phone and future iPad. So phone and microphone, the radio for now. And then I have the this option. This one's for the dash cam. We bought four balls. So I have the option of buying another mount in order to hold my iPad, which I do use Frequently, we could put the off-roading map and all of that good stuff. Yeah, we use we use that specifically the trail map. So this actually allows the Bronco rail to mount. So the Bronco has a central mounting point it's made specifically for com type mounts. This allows you to get this mounted directly to that, and then you've got your stabilizers on the end. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And came with all hardware. Um, we have instructions they do online. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, by the way, um, the mic mount we're using is actually from Jeep Unique. They were the only ones that we had to go outside of 67 designs, except for the Garmin as well. But everything else should be good to go. So this is the little mounting point that comes on the Bronco stock, which is really cool. It even says accessory ready. That's so cool. And that goes like so. And that just screws in. Okay, now there's stuff on the ends you install, correct? Yes, so I, I'm leaving this super loose on purpose because these are little rail guides is what they call them. What do they look the like? They look like this. It actually tells See? you left and right. And they... So this is the left one. Yep. And so it's going to go on the rail like so from the bottom, according to the video we watched. And then it allows it to slide on the rail so that you can place it really close to the edge and cool. put them like so that they are the, the same on each side. Okay, so we took off the rail so you guys can see this. So these just slide onto the ends. This is really hard to do one-handed, by the way. All right. So there this are is the left one on the bottom. There's a little lock that goes so that you match them up, glide it over. Obviously, I'm doing it by feel. These are totally 3D printed, by the way. Good 3D printed, but... Same thing on the other side. They slide very easily so that you can make them the same on each side. And these angles here also happen to match the angles on the... Ah, uh, okay. So I'm going to slide them in a little bit more than they need to be on purpose so we can get it put onto the accessory mount. Go ahead and throw it up there. Where it goes. Accessory mount, screw that back in, which is the easiest to start screw. I've I love how that piece is carbon fiber, by the way. I'm so excited. My little JDM heart is so happy. Same. He's 
be. So you'll see these little mounts. There's actually a spot for them to slide into. Super cool. All right, so the next part are these track balls, um, also by 67 Designs. We have four of them. Um, pretty easy, you just slide them in and then use the Allen up top to tighten them down. All right, sliding the ball on, nice. Once it's in there, it's in there, yeah, you just, just tighten it down. So we're gonna put all four in. You actually have to make, um, like, check which side you want. One on that side? So you could do iPhone mount, and then the three over here. I'm thinking GoPro. I mean, the, the cool thing about these is they're movable, right? Okay. Tighten them down once we know where we want them to be. Yep. All right, so the next thing that needs to be installed is the 67 Designs phone holder. Super simple, just like everything else. I've found through playing with it on the Tacoma that that's easier than just trying to slide the ball in, and these seem to be a little tighter than yours were, so I decided instead of getting frustrated, I was just gonna take it I off. would put that, that to the side. Yeah, so that way you can always move it whenever you want. Look at that. Yeah, also it doesn't impact your uh, AC, the screen, and or even any of the switches, which is nice. And I went ahead and took this and I'm tightening this up as much as I can by hand because it's so close to the dash. I wanna make sure that I'm not having to worry about it rattling. I mean, worst case, dash. if it starts rattling off road, you can always adjust it, move it up if you need to. True, there we go. Okay, so dash cam's in. Uh, this Bronco does not have USB up there, so we gotta figure out how to do that, which will be interesting. So what I'm thinking right now, it plugs in on this side. So we plug it in, bring it just down right here, make sure I don't get past this sensor, and then route it along here, over to this side. This is all the same softness we've done with all the other dash cameras, and I can bring it along down the side, past this, and plug it in down here, which isn't ideal. However, we do have two plugs here. So I can use this one for the dash, and I already have USB-C cables that I can use for the iPhone charging yep. if I need to. Very smart. So we should be good. So one more accessory to install. All right, GMSR, GMRS, there we go. Mount installed, dash cam installed, 67 designs, iPhone holder installed, Bronco rail installed, huge success. So I go away for two minutes and things escalate. What's going on here, guys? Oh, we're taking the grab handle off. Looks like they found a good way to route the uh, wiring for the dash cam. So taking out this rail, I think they have access to behind it and then they can route the wire, be good to go. And does it come out? Uh, I think this plastic has to come off, but that may give us enough room. But to wedge it. Oh yeah, that should give plenty of room. Oh, and it'll go right in the glove box. Look at that. Nice. Looks like she's been doing a really good job routing this wire all the way around. Using nice tools to not scratch anything. And it looks like it's gonna go really well. And then I think you can actually bring this wire in on the inside of the grab handle. Okay. Going good though? Yeah, mostly. Dash cams are important. All right, everyone. The Bronco rail is fully installed. My wife is still doing the wiring. She's kind of crazy. She used to work at Best Buy, so to, like, and in the radio department. So she is very well versed in wiring and all things. So she's taking care of that. But we are gonna end our episode here. So please, if you made it this far in the video, click that thumbs up. Um, let us know in the comments below. What do you think? What else do you want to see us do to this Bronco? Um, and please hit that subscribe button. Really helps out our channel. Before we leave for the video today, we want to show you one extra thing. time we made some stickers huh blake you made some stickers so i actually designed this we're super happy with them uh they're holographic they look amazing if you want one there's a link in the description below it just helps out our channel thank you guys so much we'll see you guys on the next time drive mod enjoy bye everyone